Australian Business Volunteers' mission is to walk alongside communities, working with corporate partners and volunteers to bring measurable and long-lasting benefits to local people. The overall impact of the Bushfire Community Recovery and Resilience Fund is huge in terms of the economic and social resilience for local communities and their region. We know when that fire came over the border, the sky went red. Years of drought, severe bushfires. Then we had floods. Just engaging with the community and having our volunteers work with them and getting them over the line of particular grant applications or getting them to develop their strategic planning documents. Their projects range widely. It just gives them enthusiasm. The communities know what they want to do to build back better. We get to walk alongside communities that are leading their recovery. Joe Cherry and Amanda Russell are proposing a Wombine Lake walkway for pedestrian safety and preserving the unique environmental wetland ecology whilst weaving this into the local industry such as oyster farming and tourism. In Kaya, ABV worked with Claire McMahon, engaging corporate engineers as volunteers to develop a road safety alignment plan for the intersection to Kaya Hall. You, you can't believe how much you use the hall until it's not there. And we've got a lot of more young people live here now than we had a few years ago. Kim Cook at the Little Ewan Aboriginal Preschool has an ongoing landscaping project for children to connect with the earth, culture and country. It's created a great opportunities for um, employment in this community um, and for building people's skill set and knowledge and yeah, really skilling people up. They are looking to strengthen their vision through the support of grant writers and online communicators. Adam Nye and his uncles at Turos Head and Coiler Lake are seeking a tennis lease agreement with the traditional landowners for a cultural education tourism centre. We've got the people, we've got the place. and we've got um, the dream. We've, we've got the right? dream, we have the energy while yeah. <laughs> I've still got some energy <laughs> left. You know. In Cabago, Christine McKnight manages the preschool. Just after the fires, we became an unofficial relief centre, I suppose. We were really lucky that we had people come in very quickly afterwards to restore the playground. Watching something that had been awful and been destroyed being repaired, um, and I think that was a really big healing for the children. We've had outstanding uh, NAB uh, volunteers that have been involved with the online community consultation process. I spoke to my manager at NAB and just said this seems like a perfect chance for me to apply the skills I have to something that's really meaningful, something that I really believe in as well. So I think we're saying welcome to the team. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we've always done here at Kaya is welcome new people because they bring new ideas. There's so many businesses that I've seen pop up and disappear because they haven't had the right guidance. So like, Australian business volunteers needs to be everywhere, you know what I mean? And with NAB as our partner and Resilience New South Wales, we're able to stay the journey with these communities. After support, like the aftercare that you provide, you know what I mean? It's not just a hello, goodbye sort of system. And I, I just feel like it's progressing really solid for me. We follow international disaster preparedness and recovery principles. We're trauma informed. We have world-class volunteer management. We're focused on business continuity planning and we can do integrated place-based planning as well. 